Hey everyone, I just woke up this morning to uh, the news of the Windows 11 launch. Now, don't have time to do a formal video about it, but um, in the quick news that I've seen, it's pretty exciting. I'm actually, to use Panos Panay's terminology, I'm really pumped about this version of Windows because, uh, um, you know, I think it's been a, a little bit of a long time coming to see some of these updates. But we talked about this in our video, our last video, where we looked at the, that early leaked, uh, well, leaked version of Windows 11. Um, it was, as I predicted, very rough, very early sort of inside a build that got leaked out there. And a lot of the things that we saw in there have been significantly updated. Uh, for example, that Windows Snap option, the, uh, the ability to split the screen, that new feature has now been expanded to include lots of different zones and options for you, depending on the display size that you have and the orientation of your display, um, which we're really excited to see. That's exactly what we predicted in our video about Windows 11. Uh, the widget area is customizable as we suggested that it would be as well. Um, there is a new file explorer, which we're really excited to see. Um, we haven't seen a lot of detail on that yet, but it was previewed briefly in the, uh, in the launch, as well as a new interface for the settings app, which is really nice. Some good, really great revisions there. And on top of that, the, uh, the app store experience has been really radically overhauled as we said it would be. Um, and I suggested that Microsoft drop all of their fees all, all together for the App Store to bring it up to the competition. And well, it seems like maybe they were listening. No, I know that they had uh, had done this work well before I predicted it, but <clears throat> it seems like I'm thinking like Microsoft for some reason. Anyway, um, they've dropped fees under certain circumstances with the App Store. So if you're a developer and you bring your own payment platform to your app, you don't pay Microsoft anything. So it's a pretty cool deal for developers. You know, you could use PayPal or something like that else to process your payments. No fees to Microsoft at all. The amazing news that I forgot to even include in our video was the idea of putting Android apps on Windows. And Microsoft have announced that Android apps will be on Windows 11 through the App Store. But here's the genius tie up. Uh, Amazon have enabled their app store that they have from their Android Fire tablets um, to be available on Windows. So it's probably not as good as the Google Play Store, but there'll still be tons of apps available through the Amazon App Store in the Microsoft App Store. I don't know how it's all gonna work, but um, the ability to run Android apps directly on Windows is a game changer. That is absolutely amazing. So we're really excited to see that as well as all of the new interface improvements um, I'm heading away on a road trip today, so um, that was kind of bad timing for me. I couldn't stay up last night and watch the event at one o'clock in the morning local time. Um, but I'll be back next week and we'll certainly do a review and a video of Windows 11. It looks like it might be a week or two before we can get our hands on the Windows Insider preview builds of window, uh, Windows 11. But I'll absolutely be running that on my Surface Pro X as soon as I can get hold of it and we'll bring you the news. So uh, hang in there and stay tuned everyone for news on Windows 11.